Hi, welcome to Bonapap again. Today we're going to prepare a very Sicilian recipe that is red rice balls in the oven. Rice balls or rice croquettes. In Italian, the recipe is called arancini di riso. We are going to do some modification to the original traditional recipe because this is a recipe that is good for kids so usually arancini rice balls they are fried they are deep fried but today we're going to put our arancini our rice balls in the oven because you know <laughs> it's better for kids and even for adults not to have too many deep fried things also this is my version of the recipe this is the version with meat there is also another vegetarian way to prepare those rice balls so let me know if you want also to see the vegetarian version because i would love to do it again for you let's start together with the main ingredients we need two cups of rice which kind of rice i'm using italian arborio rice it's the rice that we use for risotto at the grocery store you should find arborio or carnaroli rice or even sometimes they just call it risotto rice why this kind of rice because it's perfect in order to create the rice balls because it becomes very sticky also at the same time it doesn't dissolve into a kind of cream so that's the right rice in order to make arancini rice balls second ingredient three eggs five tablespoons of extra virgin oil, another five tablespoons of good Parmesan cheese, as always, uh, a nice medium-sized mozzarella, fresh one. Fresh one for me is the one that usually you buy in the kind of milky water, <laughs> that's the fresh one. One cup of ragu. Do you remember the ragu that we did together? Well, now we're going to use one cup of it. So I really hope you have in your freezer something left. <laughs> and same thing, do you remember the tomato sauce that we made together, the homemade one? Same thing, we're going to need one cup of homemade tomato sauce. Then we will need some breadcrumbs. We'll need kind of three cups of breadcrumbs in order to prepare the rice balls. And then we'll need another five tablespoons that we're going to put in the mix. First thing that I already did, I took a medium pan, I put some water in the pan, something like eight or nine cups. When the water was boiling, I added some salt, one tablespoon of salt, and then I added my rice, the two cups of rice. And then now the rice is cooking and it has to cook for half of the usual cooking time. It means 10, 12 minutes. Our rice is perfect, it's half cooked, 12 minutes and it's time to drain it. This time we didn't use a, a huge quantity of water because basically we want the rice to stay just a bit sticky. So first thing that we add is the five tablespoons of oil, extra virgin oil of oil as always. We stir and that's another variation from the original recipe. This is a kind of kids friendly as i told you and light version we're not going to use butter we are going to use oil we're not going to deep fry we're going to use the oven but trust me the final result is as yummy as the other kind of rice balls so you know you should try this recipe too we are going to add our parmesan cheese one cup of our homemade tomato sauce it's so yummy. Do you remember the recipe? If you don't, just go on the Bonapapa channel and double check it. It's still there. That's another difference from the traditional recipe that it's using just, you know, white rice. But I really like the tomato sauce taste. And uh, so I really like to add some tomatoes. That's why I call them red rice balls. <laughs> we are going to add our eggs three eggs that's how the arancini will stay together breadcrumbs half a cup now what we have to do the rice is still kind of warm and we want the rice to be cold 
and very firm. So we are going to place our bowl in the refrigerator for let's say a good hour. So it will be easier to create our rice balls. See, the rice now it's kind of firm and sticky. As you can see, I'm here ready with my set. What I have here, I've got one bowl just with water, cold water, because I need wet ones in order to form our bowls. Otherwise, the rice will just get sticky and stay on my hands and not on the, on the, on the rice bowls. Then we have our three cups of breadcrumbs here. In front of me, I've got one cup of the good homemade ragu sauce and the mozzarella that, as you can see, I chopped in small cubes. I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil on the parchment paper. I'm going to wet my hands. Ah, I have a nice tablespoon and I will just take one tablespoon of rice and I will put it in my hand. And I will just work it so that I will create a kind of nice hole in the center. And in this hole, I will put one teaspoon, not a lot, otherwise the stuffing will go out. One teaspoon of ragu and one piece of mozzarella. And then I will close my meatball with my other end so that my tiny kids rice bowl, they are formed. See, at this point I just put the rice bowl in the breadcrumb. With a wooden spoon, I will just finish my rice bowl. Perfect. And I will place it in the tray. And now, you know, it's kind of time consuming work, but trust me, it's totally worth. Another suggestion for you, in the center, in the heart of our rice bowl, I'm putting basically meat sauce and mozzarella. If you want, you can play with the ingredients. You can put like ham and mozzarella, um, just vegetable sauce and mozzarella, just mozzarella. Well, I suggest you to keep the mozzarella because it's nice. When the rice balls, they are ready, it's nice to open them in the, in the middle and to see the mozzarella kind of gluing out. <laughs> it's so yummy. I will keep going with my rice balls. And then in the meanwhile, I preheated the oven at 400 and when they were be finished I will put them in the oven for 30 minutes up until there will be a very nice crust on top and they will be ready to be eaten here we are half an hour later our rice balls or arancini in the oven they are ready look at them aren't they gorgeous <laughs> they are so yummy <laughs> trust me Luca loves them and my husband too so today's recipe was red rice balls in the oven, not deep fried for kids, kids friendly. See you next week with another recipe from Buona Papa and as always, Buona Papa Tutti!